Hi, this is McCoy Buck with WatchMeWork.com, and in this lecture, we're going to be talking about point binding in Moho. Now, here we have a really cool character that was created by Troy Piku of a bird, and as you can see, it is separated into different portions of this canvas here. And the reason why the character designer did this is because when all of these are together and at the angle that this bird character is at, it's going to be a little bit crazy to rig. So what the designer did is actually separated these out, which is a really good thing to do in this case. But what we're gonna focus on today is we're gonna focus on point binding. And we're gonna do point binding for the leg. So all I'm doing is I'm getting the assets from that character and I'm just pasting them on new layers. And I'm just gonna focus on the leg, so I'll select the leg. Now one of the things that I need to do is I need to create my bone layers. So one of two ways to create a bone layer is you can come up here to bone, or you can right click, group with the selection if you're using Moho. Just call this leg, so it's gonna create a group leg layer that's gonna contain the leg vector. And then I'm gonna right click this and then convert it to bone. So point binding is best used when you want to take vectors that have joints and different parts that you want to control individually. Point binding is a really flexible way of binding in Moho and you'll see its results pretty quickly here as I get started. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to, like the others, use my add bone tool. I'm gonna to create a root bone, which in this case, I'll just make a pin bone. If you don't have Moho Pro 12, simply just drag out your bone there. So I'm gonna create my pin bone. Connecting to that, I'm gonna create my leg. Then I'm gonna create my lower leg. And then I'm going to create the foot. Now the animator, he had also created separate bones for the toes, but I won't worry about that for now. So the next thing that I need to do is make sure that all of these bones have been made properly. And it's by parenting. Because I had started with this root bone here and then dragged out, all of these bones will be the child of this root bone here. So what I'm looking for is for arrows to be leading back from the foot to the lower leg, upper leg, back to the root. So I'm gonna hit P on the keyboard or click here on the reparent bone icon. And as you can see, I did that correctly. The next thing that I wanna look for is my bone strength. So I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard. Now, with point binding and layer binding, these are the two things that you don't want to have bone strength for. So what I'll do is I'll hit Control A on my keyboard, bone strength tool selected. I can either click and set this to zero, or I could simply click and drag left, which will also remove all that bone strength. Now that that is complete, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the layer itself. So I'm gonna hit Control A. Now you can see all the points that make up this leg. So what I wanna do is I wanna take the upper leg and I want to bind it to the points that would be necessary for the upper leg. So to select the layer, I'm going to hit B on the keyboard, which is our select bone tool that we have right here. So right now I'm in my layer, I'm not in my main group layer. I'm in my layer, seeing all of these points, selecting the bone. I am now gonna go here to this icon, which is my bind points icon, and I'm gonna click on that. You can see all the bones are in different colors. I wouldn't worry about that right now. Simply know that we're gonna be focusing here on this bone right here, which is our leg bone. So there's one of two ways to go about doing this, selecting your points. You can go and simply drag out a square, which will select the points that you need to. But sometimes there's gonna be points that are a little bit tricky that you wanna highlight. So simply click here on the lasso mode tool, and you're gonna click and you're gonna draw out the points that you wanna select, and then simply connect the lasso back together. So now you have all of these points selected. Now there's two ways of binding your points. For me, it's enter on the keyboard, yours might be spacebar, or you can simply click on this button. So always remember to look at these little tool tips right here. These will really help you out of knowing what's going on. So I'm just gonna hit enter on my keyboard. So now all of these points are bound to this bone. I only have this bone highlighted and selected, and then I selected all these points, and now I can see that it's bound. I can see this by simply hitting B on the keyboard, selecting a bone. As you can see, I'm now selecting the lower leg bone. There's no highlighted red points. If I go back to the main bone layer, you can see that there's highlighted red points. So, so far I'm doing that right. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit B on the keyboard, select the lower leg, 
I'm now gonna go over here to the icon. I'm gonna draw out what points I want to have selected. For the foot, it's a little bit difficult. There's a lot going on down there. So really what you could do if you wanted to is you could actually take and you could select this whole entire thing. Because right now, this bone will have control over this whole foot. But now when you get to this portion, you're now gonna want to reinstate your parameters of which points you want selected for this bone. But for now, this is pretty good. So same thing, I can either hit enter or I can hit the bind points. I'll hit enter, you can click that button. Now the last bone that we're gonna select is here in the foot. So let's go ahead and select that. So be on the keyboard, selecting this icon, click on the bone. As you can see, nothing is highlighted. Now this is where a little bit of tweaking is going to come into play because now you're gonna have to play around with it to see what is working so far. So real quick, let's go ahead and just test our rig and see how he's doing. All right, so just as what we would expect, this bone is gonna move just this portion right here. This bone is gonna move the lower leg plus the foot. Now, we're gonna to wanna to control this separately, so we're gonna select the bone, select the bind points icon, and now with this bone selected, we're now gonna draw out which bones we want to control. Okay, so now it's selecting those toes. Connect them back together. There we go, so now all of those are selected. So I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard to bind those points to that part right there. I'm gonna bend the foot. And you can see for the most part that works pretty good. You can see if I take off my bones and my points as I bend this foot, there's a lot of bending going on right there, and that can be fixed with smart bones. So all of these bones are now being controlled by points. So this is now all rigged. So I have my leg and my foot. All right, that does it for bone binding. That is your three different ways that you bind and rig your character with layer, flexible binding, or point binding. I hope you enjoyed this section, and I'll see you in the next one.